assalamu alaikum my dear students yesterday uh, we have started the first lecture today i am going to start the sec uh, second one last time we have discussed limit theta approach to zero sin theta upon theta this is equal to 1 we we'll take a few more examples on this and you have to understand that theta is in radians that's very important okay let's take an example example first limit theta approach to 0 sin of theta 3 theta, theta upon sin of 7 theta we have got this limit limit theta approach to 0 sin of 3 theta, theta upon sin of 7 theta now derivative functions is involved we will try to convert it into the form sin theta by theta for that what we'll do we'll multiply multiplying and dividing numerator by 3 theta and denominator by yes exactly the right 7 theta and denominator by 7 theta good problem nahi we are multiplying uh, some quantity by 3 theta at the same time we are dividing by the uh, by 3 theta there is no problem we get sin 3 theta upon 3 theta into 3 theta whole divided by sin of 7 theta upon 7 theta into 7 theta and theta approach to zero why we are performing this operation can you tell me yes exactly because i want sin theta by theta form that is this form this tends to 1 limiting value of sin theta upon theta is 1 Here we can cancel this and this. We can highlight this. यहाँ पे आप देखिए as theta approach to zero, what will happen to three theta? That will also approach to zero. Similarly, as theta approach to zero, what about sine theta? Yes, exactly. Sine theta is also approach to zero, and we are left with one into three divided by one into seven. What we are doing? We are supplying the limit, and the result is three by seven. You can write because limit x approach to zero sine x by x is equal to one. We have used this result. Is it clear? Okay. You can note it down. Let me take another example of the similar pattern. Limit theta approach to zero tangent p x sorry p theta upon sine of q theta. Again, tangent is involved, sine is involved, trigonometric ratios are involved. आपको last time भी मैंने बताया कि sine theta by theta is equal to one and tangent of theta by theta as Theta approach to zero. That is also equal to one. We will try to get it into the form tangent theta by theta and sine theta by theta. उसके लिए आप क्या करेंगे? For solution, multiplying and dividing, multiplying and dividing the numerator by yes, exactly. It is. P theta denominator the numerator by P theta and the denominator by Q theta because I want sine theta by theta and tangent theta by theta form like this tangent P theta upon P theta into P theta upon Sine of two theta 
क्यों थीटा इन टू क्यों थीटा थीटा अप्रोच टू जीरो थीटा अप्रोच टू जीरो इट इज क्लियर अगेन एज वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर एज थीटा अप्रोच टू जीरो वट अब पी थीटा that's also approach to, that will also approach to zero clearly what about q theta that also approach to zero i will highlight this this and this will go this again 1 into p divided by 1 into q the result is p by q yahan pe hum reasoning denge because limit x approach to zero sin x by x is equal to 1 and tangent of x upon x limit x approach to 0 is also equal to 1 i will repeat it once again just have a look we have to evaluate this limit we will get the limiting value of this expression tangent of p theta upon sin of q theta theta approach to 0 what we are doing multiplying and dividing the numerator by p theta clear and denominator by q theta Why we are performing this process? We have to get sine theta by theta that will approach to one, and tangent theta by theta that will again approach to one as theta approaches to zero. And denominator by q theta like this. There is no problem. We are multiplying at the same time. We are dividing the quantity by the same quantity. Okay, tangent theta by theta. That's one. Sine theta by theta. You can see here. So p theta. I have told you that as theta approaches to zero, what about p theta? Again, that will approach to zero. What about q theta? That also approaches to zero as theta approaches to zero. This theta will go with this, and this is one into p. This is one into q. You are left with p by q. One can say that the limiting value of this is p by q as as theta approaches to zero. You can note it down. We'll take another example. Example third. <clears throat> Tangent theta minus sine theta upon sine cube theta limit theta approaches to zero. I told you last time that first of all you should supply the limit and see. If it is not zero by zero form, then that is the answer. Okay, tan at zero, that is zero. Sin zero, that is zero. Sin zero, that is zero. We are getting zero by zero, zero by zero form. Yes, what is this form known as? Yes, exactly. It is n determinant. Form. What to do? We have to avoid this form. Okay. How can we do this? Jo ye tangent theta hai, isko laenge in lower trigonometric uh, forms. That is, then instead of tangent theta, I'll write sine theta by cos theta. Is clear? Minus sine theta as it is. Is there any problem? Okay. Sine cube theta. Limit theta approach to zero. I just replace it tangent of theta by sine theta by cos theta. Now, what is the denominator of sine of theta? Exactly, it is one. Now, taking sine theta common, what remains inside? Yes, you are right. It is like this. At the denominator, we have sine cube theta. Limit theta approach to zero. What I did? I took this sine theta common at the numerator. What remains inside? One upon cos theta minus one. Clear? Okay. As it is, sine cube as it is. This may cancel हो जाएगा. Sine theta एक cancel हो जाएगा. तो यहाँ पे क्या रहेगा? हाँ, sine square रहेगा. You are right. You are left with one by cos theta minus one divided by Sine square theta. Is it clear? Okay. Now we will LCM. What is LCM? The right cos theta one minus cos theta 
and whole division is sin square theta limit as it is theta approach to zero uske baad jo denominator mein sin square theta we can write it as denominator unity we can write it 1 minus cos theta upon cos theta whole divided by sin square theta upon 1 is there any problem no problem at all because i am writing sin square theta with the denominator as unity to make the things more precise what we get 1 minus cos theta upon cos theta into 1 by sin square theta अगर यहां पे आप देखेंगे इफ यू सप्लाई लिमिट इट अगेन इट इज जीरो बाई जीरो फॉर्म हाउ कॉस जीरो इज वन वन माइनस वन दैट इज जीरो यहां पे कॉस जीरो इज वन बट साइन जीरो इज जीरो जीरो इंटू वन दैट इज जीरो दैट इज अगेन जीरो बाई जीरो फॉर्म वो हैव टू स्टॉप हियर अगेन हम क्या करेंगे या तो आप करेंगे वन प्लस कॉस थीटा से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे और डिवाइड करेंगे जैसे जैसे कि हमने लास्ट टाइम लास्ट एग्जाम्पल में मैंने दिखाया था आपको या आप ऐसे भी कर सकते हैं इन ऑफ साइंस कर थीटा You can write one minus cos square theta. चलो वही करेंगे one minus cos theta as it is. ये cos theta अपना इसी तरह से. In the top this sine square, I will write one minus cos square theta. आप कहेंगे ये कहाँ से लाया? Because sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. In the top sine square theta, I am writing one minus cos square theta. Okay. आप copy भी कर सकते हैं. So I've got just two more steps. One minus cos theta as it is at the denominator, cos theta times. Can't write it. One as one square. We can write it. One square minus cos square theta. One square minus cos square theta. Limit theta approach to zero. Okay. Now difference of two squares. A square minus b square. What's that? Yes. Of course, it is a plus b into a minus b. One minus cos theta divided by cos theta. One plus cos theta into one minus cos theta. Basically, I want to get rid of zero by zero form. This and this will go. What remains? You are left with one upon. cos theta times 1 plus cos theta clear you can supply the limit now cos 0 as theta approach to 0 it's clear cos 0 is 1 we can supply the limit 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 2 basically uh, we are using the applications of sin theta by theta uh, we are uh, we have uh, reduced this uh, 0 by 0 form jo humne 0 by 0 form humne eliminate kiya So we got the result as one by two. That is the limiting value of the given expression as theta approach to zero. You can copy it. Let me take example next. करने जा रहे हैं नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट हैज बिन आस्कड सो मेनी टाइम्स रिपीटेडली इट हैज बिन आस्कड इन स्टेट बोर्ड ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन राइट ऑन द एग्जाम्पल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल वन माइनस कॉस ऑफ एम एक्स डिवाइड बाई वन माइनस कॉस ऑफ एन एक्स लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच टू जीरो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन डिप्लोमेटिक फंक्शन आर इन्वॉल्व तो हमारे जहन में आना चाहिए विल ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू द फॉर्म साइन थीटा बाई थीटा ओके हमारे पास एक फॉर्मूला है वन माइनस कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई टू दिस इज फ्रॉम द डबल एंगल फॉर्मूला वन माइनस कॉस ऑफ टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस साइन स्क्वायर थीटा यू विल रिप्लेस थीटा बाई थीटा बाई टू तो यू आर लेफ्ट विथ वन माइनस कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू टू आई साइन स्क्वायर थीटा हम लिखेंगे सिंस वाई गॉट दिस तो थीटा के बदले क्या है एम एक्स वन माइनस कॉस ऑफ एम एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू आई साइन स्क्वायर एम एक्स बाई टू एंड सिमिलरली वन माइनस कॉस ऑफ एन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू आई साइन स्क्वायर 
and x by 2. In nutshell, we are replacing theta by, yes, theta by mx and theta by nx. We have got these two results. We will substitute here. It is twice sine square mx by 2 upon twice sine square nx by 2. Limit x tends to 0. Is it clear? Why we are performing this operation? Why we have used this identity? Because I want sine theta by theta form. Exactly. This and this will go. Clear? Now you are left with sine square mx by 2 upon sine square nx by 2. Now we have to update here. I want sine theta by theta. Now we have to get it. We have to get it. Theta ke bille hai mx by 2. Hum kya karenge? We'll multiply and divide. Numerator by, yes, exactly. It is mx by 2, but whole square. And denominator by, exactly. Nx by 2, whole square. We'll write, multiplying and dividing numerator by mx by 2, whole square and denominator by we get of the key sine square mx by 2 upon mx by 2 whole square humne kya kiya multiply or divide kiya numerator ko mx by 2 whole square on the similar way we'll multiply and divide the denominator by yes Exactly. Sine square nx by 2 upon nx by 2 whole square. nx by 2 whole square. Agar yahan pe square nahi hota, tab square ki likhne ki zurat nahi thi. Agar in instead of 2, we have 3, tab aapko cube se multiply divide, divide karna hai. Now, dekhi. Iske baad, in ko hum uh, ikathe lenge. Sine of mx by 2 upon mx by 2 whole square into m square x square by 4 upon sine of nx by 2 upon nx by 2 whole square into m square x square by 4 limit as it is x approach to 0. Aap kahenge, yahan to khali x hai, lekin it is obvious. As x approach to 0, what about mx by 2? That will approach to 0. And similarly, as x approach to 0, what about nx by 2? That will also approach to 0. Sin theta by theta. In this of theta, we have mx by 2. Clear? Sin theta by theta, that's 1, 1 square, n2. Ye or ye cancel ho jayega, m square hayega, divided by 1 square into n square, result is m square by n square. You can write the reasoning. What we have used? We have used limit theta approach to zero, sine theta by theta equal to one. Is it clear? We have used this, this, this law that is sine theta by theta. As theta approach to zero, this will approach to one. This will approach to one. It is one square. Here we have got m square, one square into m square. That's m square. Here it is one square into m square, m square by m square. We can say this expression. This whole expression will approach to m square by m square as x approach to 0. Is it clear to you? Okay, copy it. We'll take the examples involving a rationalization. Next example, example fifth. If we have limit x approach to 0, 1 plus under root of 1 minus 1 plus x divided by x. 1 minus under root of 1 plus x divided by x as x approach to 0. If we have the problems of this type, as is surat, if it is 0 by 0 form, then what will we do? We will do rationalization. Look, first of all, I have told you repeatedly, I have told you that you will supply the limit of the j 0 dj it is 1 minus 1 plus 0 upon 0 this is 1 minus 1 upon 0 
again it is n determinate form clear okay we have to avoid this so I have told you if we have the problems like this we have to go for rationalization so what will we do here? rationalization will do numerator we will multiply and divide this quantity by यहाँ पे माइनस है ऊपर भी प्लस और यहां पे भी प्लस क्योंकि कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सेम क्वांटिटी ये यहां पे न्यूमिनेटर और डिनोमिनेटर पे क्योंकि ये और एक आंसर तो यू आर लेफ्ट विद द सेम क्वेश्चन तो इसको क्या लिखेंगे आप रैशनलाइजेशन ओके अब देखिए विल मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमिनेटर्स तो यहां पे क्या आएगा यस इट इज a b a b व्हाट इज दैट Exactly, it is difference of two squares. It is like this: a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now, in this of a, we have got one. In this of b, we have under root of one plus x. Okay, we can write a square minus b square. यहाँ पे x into one plus under root of one plus x. यहां पे भी आप ख्याल रखेंगे कि यहां पे यहां पे विद इन ब्रैकेट्स है क्योंकि x को मल्टीप्लाई करना है इन दोनों के साथ दिस स्क्वायर एंड दिस विल गो उसके बाद देखिए 1 स्क्वायर व्हाट इज दैट इट इज 1 माइनस से मल्टीप्लाई कीजिए डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू द माइनस 1 माइनस x अपॉन x into 1 plus under root of 1 plus x अब देखिए ये और कैंसिल you are left with minus x upon x times 1 plus under root of 1 plus x. Okay, limit as x approaches 0 as it is. This x and x will go. What remains at the numerator? It is minus 1. You are right. Now, here you can supply the limit. You can replace x by 0 uh, and you are left with that is minus 1 1 plus 1 1 by 2 one can say the limiting value of this is minus half as or in other ways we can say this will approach to minus half as x approaches to 0 okay a copy key We'll take another example. Random example sixth. Under root of x minus under root of 5 divided by x minus 5. This is also very interesting example. Up the k x approaches to 5. Up x k 5 thingy root 5 minus root 5 what is that 0 niche bhi denge 5 minus 5 that is 0 we can write 5 root 5 minus root 5 5 minus 5 this is 0 by 0 form n determinate form n determinate form to hum kya karenge maine aapko bataya ki jahan pe roots involve honge koshish karenge aur 0 by 0 form koshish karenge udhar rationalize karne ki hum kya karenge we will rationalize Yes, numerator exactly. So, you tell me, who will multiply and divide? Karenge? Tell me. Yes, exactly. We will do root x plus root 5 se multiply and divide bhi karenge, same quantity. Se. x plus root 5 se multiply and divide. Bhi karenge. Add the numerator again, the uh, which we have discussed previously a minus b into a plus b. That is, yes, a square minus b square. In s of a, we have got root x. In s of b, we have got root 5. We can write root x square minus root 5 square upon x minus 5 under root x under root 5. Okay. This and this will go. This and this will go. Here x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 
under root x plus under root 5 limit x approaches to 5 key, similar quantities are here this and this will go what remains you are left with limit x tends to 5 and of supply is a limit that is 1 by root 5 this is the limiting value is it clear to you okay Copy it up. We'll take another example of the similar pattern. That's also very important. Limit x approaches to 1 under root of 3 plus x under root of 5 minus x upon x square minus 1. That's also a very interesting example. Now, the here, under root of 3 plus x minus under root of 5 minus x upon x square minus 1. Here, what do you do? This is example 6. Okay. What do you do? Yes, exactly. You will directly substitute 1. Now, what is 3 plus 1? What is that? You are right. Under root of 3 plus 1 minus under root of 5 minus 1 divided by 1 square minus 1. Upper the kya. Under root of 4. What is that? 2. Under root of 4 again. 5 minus 1. That's again 4. That's again 2. 2 minus 2. Here it is 1 square. That's 1 minus 1. 0 by 0 form. Again in determinant form. So, hum kya karenge? I've told you. In the previous examples also that if uh, roots are involved or uh, like this hum kya karenge? Ha, rationalize karenge, rationalized numerator kisi multiply divide karenge ha, exactly you are right multiply divide karenge 3 plus x plus 5 minus x upon 3 plus x same quantity rationalization is it clear? Ab kya Dekhe, a minus b into a plus b. What's that? That's a square minus b square. A square minus b square. Again, we have got the difference of two squares. It's a minus b into a plus b. What is a here? Under root of 3 plus x. What is in the sub b? We have got 5 minus x. This is again difference of two squares. a square minus b square. Upon add the denominator of the x square minus 1 and under root of 3 plus x plus under root of 5 minus x. Limit x approaches to 0. Sorry, x approaches to 1. This is given. Yevri cancel, yevri cancel. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is that if you have to multiply from minus, se karna hai, it will be 3 plus x minus 5 minus minus plus. This is the idea of this. Here usually students mistake karte hai, wo hai minus 5 minus x but minus se multiply karna hai dono ko we have to use distributive law here so you are left with this x square minus 1 under root of 3 plus x plus under root of 5 minus x limit x approaches to 1 ok yahan pe kitna aega ah, it is twice x minus 2 Minus 2 is the It is minus 5 plus 3. That's minus 2. X square minus, you can write it 1 square also. No problem. 3 plus x plus under root of 5 minus x. Limit of x approaches to 0. Okay. Here we will do x, ah, 2 common at the numerator. We can take 2 common. Inside remains x minus 1. Here a square minus b square. It is a plus b into a minus b baki isi tarah se within braces ye term isi tarah se dikhenge oh, limit x approaches to 0 ha this and this will go what remains 2 divided by x plus 1 under root of 3 plus x plus under root of 5 minus x limit x approaches to 0 sorry x approaches to 1 aap kya kitenge Ha, x ka value aap 1. It is 2 upon 1 plus 1. Clear? 
अंडर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस वन प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ फाइव माइनस वन इसको थोड़ा सा सिंप्लीफाई करके यह आएगा टू अंडर रूट ऑफ फोर प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ फोर दिस एंड दिस विल गो इट इज टू प्लस टू रिजल्ट इज वन बाय फोर वन कैन से दैट दिस होल एक्सप्रेशन टेन टू टू वन बाय फोर एज एक्स अप्रोच टू वन इज क्लियर टू यू ओके नोट इट डाउन प्लीज For my satisfaction, you will try these questions at your place as an assignment and send it uh, as PDF uh, on my WhatsApp number seven zero zero six eight zero two one eight zero. Thank you. Thank you.